guys. Today I'm going to show you how I made the honeycomb shelves on the wall behind me. Now you can use this video and you can make one single unit or you can make as many as you want and join them together the way that I did. The choice is yours. But please subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave a comment below. Now let's go get started on this project. To complete this project, you'll need 1x4 lumber, wood glue, masking tape, hanging hardware, a miter saw, and a pin nailer. To begin, let's set the bevel on our miter saw to 30 degrees and cut 6 equal segments from our 1x4 lumber. Be sure to flip the board between each cut to avoid any waste. Once you've finished, you should have 6 identical pieces with opposing beveled ends. My pieces are 7 inches in length. Lay the pieces out in a straight line with the beveled sides facing down. Make sure that the ends are butted together tightly. Next, we're going to take our strip of masking tape and connect the sections together by running a strip down one side. Be sure to leave a section hanging over one end. Repeat the same process for the opposite side, running your masking strip down Again, being sure to leave a strip at one end. Then flip the whole section over and run glue down your wood seams. Now beginning with the first section, start to fold the wood up so that the bevels meet at a tight joint. Be sure to wipe away the excess glue with a paper towel as you go along. At the halfway point, I'm going to stop and add a few pin nails to my sections, making sure to place the pins at a slight angle so that they stay where I want them, but do not extrude out the opposite side. If you don't have a pin nailer, don't worry about it. You can skip this step and the glue will hold everything fine. As you're beginning to get to those very last few sections, flip the box up so that you can apply glue to that very last end piece. Then connect your last two joints and roll the tape over to hold everything in place. If you have a pin nailer, go ahead and finish nailing the rest of your sections. Place the nails as needed and then let, allow it to dry. Once the box is dry, you're going to place your hangers along one side. The hangers that I use are actually figure eight table fasteners. I'll leave a link below for these in the description if you want to use them. To install the figure eight fasteners, I have countersunk the locations with the three quarter inch bit and I pre-drilled screw holes. Then using a one inch wood screw, I attach them. You can turn these so that they hang either inside or outside of the box. To mount these to your wall, all you need to do is place your wall screws through the other opening of the figure eight fasteners. Okay, if you decide to make several of these and join them together in a similar fashion as what I've done, I recommend that you glue and clamp them together and then reinforce each joint side with a wood screw. If you like this video, please let me know with a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you can get more great projects like this.